ever wondered how a digital clock work without any complex mechanisms like analog clock? In this video, we'll look on how to make this super complex digital clock without any DIY kit or microcontroller. We'll just use some fairly basic logic circuits. This is going to be a beginner slash intermediate tutorial. So basic knowledge of electronics is enough to watch this tutorial. So without any further delay, let's get started. So how does this digital clock work? First we'll call digital clock as timekeeper to avoid the confusion between the term clock in electronics. Working of timekeeper is way easier than you thought of how it may work. It's just a counter which count clock pulse. So you came across two terms, clock and counter. Clock is a particular type of signal that oscillates between on and off state of a circuit at a certain frequency, more likely a metronome. To know more about clock, check in the description or click the cards. Mathematically we know, time is equals to inverse of frequency. If we can generate a clock pulse of 1 Hz, we can turn on and off the switch with a time interval of 1 second. A counter is a digital circuit which is usually constructed by many flip-flop which is used to count the clock pulse. The good news is we already have few IC for this circuit so we don't have to build on our own. If you want to learn more about this circuit, click the i icon or link in the description. So what we learned so far? A digital timekeeper is a circuit that counts the number of clock signal and it uses some logic to format the time that we see. So enough of talking, let's just get into the fun part. We'll start with the display. I used an old school like display called 7 segment display, also known as SSD. There are two types of 7 segment displays, common anode and common cathode. In this video, we'll use common cathode. In this display, all the negative terminals are tied to a common point. Therefore, we can display alphanumerical value by changing the state of pins which are named from A to G. We need 6 of this in total. 2 for seconds, 2 for minutes and 2 for hours. There are so many IC and methods to work with this display. But I'll stick on to IC4026 because I just need one of them for each of the display. If you want to learn more about this circuit, comment below. It will be a topic for upcoming videos. If you see the datasheet of 4026, it gives what each of the pin exactly do. And if you move on further, we get the operation condition which is quite useful. So we don't blow up the circuit like a noob. First, let's put this on a circuit diagram. I connected all pins from A to G on the IC4026 to the respective pins on the SSD. And I built the rest of the circuit with reference to the datasheet. After I implemented the circuit in a breadboard, I added a simple switch which acts as a manual clock pulse for the IC. We can see the circuit start counting. Now we can automate the click. To do this, there are several ways, but we'll use 555 timer IC to generate a signal of 1 Hz because the circuit is simple and I'm very lazy. But you are free to find other methods on internet which is more accurate and complex. As this circuit is simple and most of them are familiar with it, we'll just start building the circuit on the breadboard. For more detailed explanations and other information, check out the link in the description or the link will be given at the end of the video. After completing, I just removed the switch and connected the pin 3 of 555 timer IC to the pin 1 of IC4026. And here we go. We got the output as expected. As I have added a variable resistor in the final circuit, we can adjust the frequency of the clock to 1 Hz more precisely using an oscilloscope. The next step is to cascade them and format the time as we need. Now we need to build 6 similar 4026 circuit without the clock input. And once done, connect the pin 5 of 6 to 4026 IC to pin 1 of 5 to 4026 and pin 5 of 4 to 4026 IC to pin 1 of 4 to 4026 5 of second 4026 IC to pin 1 of first 4026 IC. I know many couldn't get that, but if you did, you're a genius. For those don't, just check the link in the description which explain all this in detail. What we actually did is, we just cascaded the display individually, so each of the 2 of 6 SSD can count up to 99 individually. Now we need a logic which can control the flow and trigger the minute when the second reaches 60 and trigger the hours when the minute reaches 60. First we are going to check whether the tenth place of second display reach 6. Keep an eye on the 3 LEDs, they are lit only when the digit 6 appears. So we got a hint. Now we should just reset the seconds and increment the minute when all the 3 LEDs are lit. This is applicable only for minutes and seconds, for hours. Look at these 3 LEDs, they are lit when the digit is 24. You can also use the same concept and make it for 12. 
To implement this logic in our circuit, we'll use our IC7411 which have triple 3 input AND gates. The output of the gate is high only if all the input of the gate is high. Or in other words, when all the three LEDs are lit, they are going to output an ON state. So now we just need few buttons to set the time manually. So we can use them in a more practical way. So we'll add the switch to the minute and hours before I add a couple of diode which control the backflow and allow current to flow through only one direction. So it won't affect the second when the minute is changed and same goes for the hours. There is one problem that's bouncing of the circuit. Bouncing is the tendency of an two metal contacts in an electric device to generate multiple signals as the contacts close and open. Debouncing is any kind of hardware or software that ensures that only one single signal will be acted upon for a single opening or closing of a contact. The circuit is fairly simple than the definition. It's just made of resistor and capacitor. We'll just replace the switch with this circuit. If you see my timekeeper, you can see an extra additional IC which I used for debouncing circuit. Actually, it was an overkill. I faced many issues when I used this circuit and I used many resistors and diodes to solve this problem. So I prefer using the easier one. So are we done yet? There is still one thing missing, the power supply. We'll use a 12 volt 1 amp power brick. So we have to do some minor changes to the circuit. We'll place a small socket then connecting it to the power supply line and the ground. And now we are done with the circuit. It's time for the case. We'll grab some sheet of paper and draw a reference layout for the case. The value of the measurement may vary from yours, depending on the circuit size. Now we'll use this as a reference and cut this out from an acrylic sheet. Once we have the sheet, we'll draw a square of 1.5cm and we'll make the midpoint of the diagonal and drill with a 3mm drill bit and increase the size with a 5mm drill bit. Then we'll cut some small pieces of acrylics for holding the circuit. Then we'll use some acrylic glue and paste the small pieces together. Once done, we can fasten the case with few nuts and bolts. You can see the case is designed such that we can access the hours as well as minutes and also access both the frequency of the clock and power socket without taking it out of the case. There are so many effective ways of doing it. You can improve so many things in the circuit by changing the clock circuit, by changing the SSD driver circuit, by changing the debouncing circuit. With proper tools, you can fix the issue I had in making the case, like I couldn't have perfect cut and I made couple of scratches which you can avoid and importantly the clock will reset after the power is removed which will fix in an upcoming video. The cost of building this circuit may be slightly high compared to a DIY kit but you can learn a lot and you will have a very good solved practice. Drop your questions and doubts in the comment section. If you guys want to help the channel like share and subscribe the video and hit the bell icon to keep up to date with the channel. As always see you guys later. By clicking the link on the screen, you can check out the other videos.